I don't remember seeing you guys out there when we were saying. <laughs> acting with Funimation in 2004. Um, I had a, uh, uh, a bits occasionally on Dragon Ball Z and Full Metal Alchemist. I had larger parts on Grappler Baki and Detective Conan. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, we met a Grappler Baki fan. It was the weirdest uh, thing. It was it was amazing. No, we, we, we went out to lunch and he saw the thing. He's like, oh, you guys were the anime convention? Yeah. Oh, man, I love anime. This really great friend of mine, he called me just last night and he talked about one of his favorite shows, which we have both been on. And so then we went... We were actually actors on that show. <laughs> and he's like, oh, and he ran away. He left. And, we're like, and then he came back with his phone and he's like, I have to tell my friend. You know, he had to sit down. I wish down. he would just run away. Yeah, and then like, <laughs> no. actually, no, the, the, the uh, first like, thing about it was that, that happened, he, um, he had a friend death. who, I think it was says, uh, almost two years ago to this day, he was in a car wreck. Not mm. his friend, and he is to this day in a wheelchair. He's, he's gone through physical he's therapy. Going physical therapy. He's on demand. Uh, and one of the ways that they bonded was he, his, his friend, is a huge Grappler Baki fan. He would watch the show and describe and explain what all the moves were and what they were doing. And it was it was a way for the two of them to bond and, and to come closer together um, uh, uh, while working on this uh, uh, issue that his his friend was going through. So then. Uh, he says we're almost at the second anniversary of that of that incident, and he was on the phone with him just last night. And there's a day waiting tables around the corner from the convention. He meets yeah. people who were on the show, and it was it was a it was a confluence of serendipity that just blew his mind. And <laughs> that's a that's a great bunch of words you just said. Confluence <laughs> of serendipity. <laughs> Did I get to the part in my description where I say I went to graduate school? <laughs> <laughs> I'm education. I wrote many thesis papers. Your turn. Oh, yay. Uh, I'm Anthony Bowling. Uh, I've also been at Funimation since about 2004, uh, working on shows like uh, Samurai 7, uh, Is This a Zombie, My, Bar My Bride is a Mermaid. Uh, I've been on uh, Yeah, I, it's so weird to say these like sentences out loud. <laughs> Uh, Devil's a part-timer. I'm LCL in that. Uh, Mr. Seven on One Piece. Uh, Hitalia, I'm New Zealand. 
so I've, I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> so, go ahead. Hi, uh, I'm Felicia Angel. I am a Funimation voice actress, uh, assistant ADR director, and lead ADR director. Uh, very new at that, though, so it feels weird to say out loud. <laughs> Um, most recently, uh, I've been Shinoa in Seraph of the End, uh, Emmy in The Devil is a Part-Timer, uh, Perona in One Piece, Alex Benedetto in Gangsta, um, and other things. And others. And other things. I'm gonna have to, he, Why last night, you're gonna look at my Anime News Network page <laughs> totally and be like, I did the talking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do the talking. I put, <laughs> That's I put me. words in a mouth. <laughs> Uh, I'm Emily Neves. I'm also a voice actor at Funimation and Sentai. Um, you might know me from such shows as Future Diary, uh, Guilty Crown. Um, are you? You are. Gotcha. Yes! Oh my gosh, she's screaming me today. Yep. One of my and favorite characters ever. I was so scared to come here because I saw you. Yeah, you get that outfit out of my sight. I just, 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 I just,
Well, there is a way to do voice acting yeah. and not get paid. Yeah, yeah. No, there is. <laughs> um, I, I was talking about this in my last panel, so forgive me, guys, who were there. Um, I'm a screenwriter and a playwright, um, and that's right now, like, my passion, and so um, when I'm not doing anything else, I'm writing. Um, like, so basically, I write all the time until I have to go do something else. Um, so that does as of right now not pay anything I have a, a screenplay commissioned um, that I'll be finishing in February and hopefully that will will yield some, some dividends at some point <laughs> but uh, you know I also am um, a singer songwriter play guitar and, um, I like yoga <laughs> long walks on the beach <laughs> hey there fella uh, y'all still do DJ? no oh I thought you said I'm a DJ oh it's a David Bowie song <laughs> oh, I thought <laughs> I thought she meant when she's like, well, there's all these David Bowie songs and I love them all. I'm, I'm a DJ, so I was like, oh, okay, so she has like, yeah, I get it. So you just yeah, added yourself. Like, you you should have just lied and been like, yeah. Yeah, so you just added yourself. I spin. Is the, 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 the way she like, said it, I know the whole catalog. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, she said I'm a, I'm a DJ, DJ, so I was like, oh, cool. So she has. Yeah, I, I did totally that, but I admitted that I'm not. And I don't even think, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm not, I, I don't know if that's the title of the song. It's just like, the hook. Oh, so see? So I, I, I was like, <laughs> might not even, I could be right. Oh, I love that. That's so wonderful. Communication, everyone. I did it badly. Um, <laughs> and I don't know yeah. things, apparently. <laughs> that's about it. What about you? Uh, I, was, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I was avoiding the question. The last the co last year or so, um, I, very thankfully things have picked up for me at Funimation. But I am in a weird headspace right now where like there is no life, there is only anime. Um, so it's weird to try to think about like what do what do I do when I'm not there? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Um, but, uh, as far as side projects, I mean, acting really is it for me. Um, I do, uh, I have my own home studio, so I do do, uh, I do do Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> That's on tape. Yeah, you know, I've said worse, I'm certain. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I do, uh, independent projects, uh, mostly, uh, commercial work, um, and some, uh, one-off indie video games. Uh, I did a visual novel recently. Um, for funsies, uh, I'm, I'm a singer. Um, I love to read. That is really my, my reset for my headspace. Um, I actually uh, was very stressed out because on the way over here, I uh, missed my original flight and had to take a second one. And that's never happened to me before, so I was really stressed. And I had two books in my carry-on, and then I went and bought another one from the airport bookstore to calm myself. So now my carry-on is just like my ID, my credit card, and three books. <laughs> so, yeah. What, what books? Mm -hmm. um, let's see. One uh, is a very guilty pleasure read of a series, uh, the new Snow series I've been reading since high school. Uh, it's called A Shiver of Light, if you all want to look it up, oh, if you're over 18. Um, uh, her Fearful Symmetry uh, is the same author as The Time Traveler's Wife, uh, so it's sort of magical realism. And then, um, what is the one I picked up? No, I can't remember the name of it. Oh my god, it's The Something Giant. Uh, and it's by the same author who wrote uh, Never Let Me Go. Oh, uh, uh, Ka Kazuo yeah. Ishiguro. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I think The Sleeping Giant. Okay. That's what it is. There it is. Nice. I found it. Found it and came back around. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of magical realism books lately. I read uh, The Miniaturist uh, and Boy Snowbird back to back. And so now I'm jumping into her field. Fearful Symmetry, which I didn't realize was going to be magical realism, and it is, so I guess that's cool. what I'm doing now. I drink and eat in my spare time. Um, I was fortunate enough the past few years, I used to be, in, I mean, I was saying in the service industry, and uh, I work with an improv troupe uh, in downtown Fort Worth that uh, I teach classes with. We do a lot of traveling with corporate gigs, um, and we have our own theater, so every Friday and Saturday we have two shows each night. So I make a living as an actor now, which is awesome. Like, it's the best thing ever. So it's, it's even, 
I, I do improv for free, which I do during the week with a lot of my students or uh, some of the other teachers. We have our own teams. So I just love that different side of, oh, good, this isn't like us doing a show for like entertainment purposes as far as like pay. It's like, cool, we're actually here for free. We're running it with students. So uh, I do that, and I love teaching. Uh, I'm working on an audio book right now that I'm actually like listening to and, and editing up in the room where I'm like, what, what was said that it didn't say that properly? Um, got a contract for another book, for an audio book, because um, I, just, I just love voice acting. Like, it's just great. So I love that it's we have the, the freedom. Tops. It's just the, it's the bee's <laughs> knees. Um, I do that, and then that gives me a lot of spare time during the week, so then I'll just, like, sit down and maybe, like, play PlayStation for, like, five hours yeah. a day. So it's like, I can do that, yeah, every day. So, uh, no, so, uh, yeah, all week just, oh, there have been some weeks where, like, nothing's going on, and I'm just like, I haven't bathed. Just like, uh, I'm just playing games, and there's, like, just cereal bowls everywhere. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what I do as far as like things outside or just it's it's always uh, the little bit of pleasure of what I do as a career. But it's like, well, it's my passion, so I'll do it in my spare time too for no pay. So, but yeah, don't tell the directors that. <laughs> um, well, I, I was only able to do uh, voiceover with Funimation until I didn't live in Dallas anymore. Um, so uh, that I moved from Dallas to Chicago in 2007, uh, and having done so without a plan, it took a couple of years to stabilize financially. Uh, and then I went to graduate school, and then I came out of that with another uh, uh, for for acting. Um, so most of what I do is um, acting either on stage or on screen. Uh, there's there's plenty of on camera work as well as stage work in Chicago, which is uh, very very nice to to have had. Um, that's also branched out into some other disciplines. Um, uh, I've become uh, proficient in stage combat. Uh, I am a, an advanced actor combatant for the Society of American Fight Directors. Uh, so there are six different weapons that I know how to utilize and choreograph fights for, uh, I've done occasionally. My favorite one, I, I choreographed uh, the 2012, no, the 2013 production of A Klingon Christmas Carol. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> which is performed entirely in Klingon. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's just it's so difficult. <laughs> um, I do that. Uh, I'm also uh, uh, a burlesque performer. Uh, for five years, I was a member of a Chicago troupe called Vaudzilla, uh, both as a performer and uh, <laughs> I, I hosted the shows as well. Um, I, I mean, that's, that's one thing that uh, a Chicago artist, at, at least, and I don't know how it is uh, for folks in other towns, but you, you are never going to make a living in Chicago anyway, or, or not for your first few years. Uh, only doing one type of art. You must also be a writer, and you know you do live lit uh, is a huge thing in Chicago, where uh, you write an essay um, on a particular topic, but with the intention of it being performed. So it, the the writing style is different when I'm going to be reading this to a crowd for a reaction for a live performance versus something that would uh, just be read as an article. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so as many different places as I can find to branch out and, and satisfy that artistic bug, uh, including just, um, I think tomorrow is uh, four weeks ago that I started to learn how to play guitar. Uh, so I've just now got calluses. <laughs> you know, so it, it's, and my ultimate goal not to be necessarily something I'm doing for money. It would be cool to be able to get paid to get jam, to, to go up and jam, but um, no, it's, a, Mostly, it's another way to connect to expression. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was profound. Um, um, what's your favorite animal? 